Hello everyone, I am Ellie, Junior Community Manager at Clock Drive Games. Today I'll be going through the pre-alpha demo with you guys, showing off and commenting on the gameplay and abilities, as well as showing you what people might have missed in their playthroughs. It is important to state that as the demo playthrough progresses, you unlock new powers and that the enemies change as well. They gain armor, different enemy types start showing up, and it is up to you as the player to take care of them using your expanding arsenal of abilities. When an enemy's weapon glows orange, that means he's attacking you with an unblockable strike. In that case, you need to roll or dash backwards to dodge it. When an enemy swings at you with a regular strike, you can block it, and if you time your block just right, you will achieve a perfect block. What this means is you will get a bit of your energy back, and more importantly, it will stun the enemy, giving you an opportunity to attack him again. Now we get to the really fun part, slicing up enemies. When fighting in Warlander, the enemies will not always be without armor. In fact, the further you progress, the more armor they will have. It is important to hit their exposed flesh. Hitting the flesh does damage and it rewards you by giving you back a portion of your energy you use to attack them or to defend yourself. Hitting enemies under armor will not give you back your energy and it will not harm them, though it will stagger them for a moment. If you hit a part of their armor enough times, that armor piece will break off and you will gain an opening to strike them again. When I'm dealing with armored enemies, I tend not to go for their flesh. This does punish me, but I see a payoff in it. I aim for their helmets. When they break, all it takes is one hit on the head and they are taken care of. Sword throw is a great ability for buying yourself some time for taking care of enemies at a distance. When you throw the sword, it flies where you are aiming and you control its flight path. Upon hitting the enemy, the sword will do damage and stagger your opponent. And it also damages and staggers enemies upon returning to your hand. The dash ability is great for closing gaps between you and a certain enemy, but it is also good for giving you distance between you and an enemy. Say your health is low and you need to replenish, or you just want to play it safe and hit an enemy with a sword throw or a stake from a safe distance, then the dash is the ability that you want to use. Should an enemy raise up their shield and defense, don't panic and don't swing at them mercilessly. You are given an ability for taking care of that. The kick mechanic allows you to walk up to a guarded enemy and kick their shield, opening them up to your attacks once more. It's also fun to literally kick them in the ass, or off a cliff. The caster is a tricky enemy. Whenever you get close to him, he teleports away. You can, however, use his projectiles to damage other enemies, and to take care of him, use your shield to deflect his projectiles right back at him. Our audience was very confused with chest containing body parts. We can't give you much info on this, except that the both druids and the Techno Order have their own reasons for gathering such gruesome collections. Of course, Bruce is far from shine, he will use whatever he can find. stake. Much like the sword throw is great for buying you time and dealing with enemies that are far from you. 
but unlike the sword, it can knock back some enemies, and more importantly, it can break armor parts off of enemies, and give you an opening to slice at their exposed flesh. It can also be used against the Techno Guardian enemy to break his shield. Some enemies in the game will be armored with a powered or, as we call it, supercharged version of their own armor. This will allow them to perform only unblockable attacks. This Techno Guardian tried to hit me with it several times and failed. But everything has a downside and this is true for the supercharged armor as well. They are made of unstable materials and if hit on just the right spots, they will explode, killing everything in the close vicinity so it's best to deal with them from afar. Just like most things within the pre-alpha demo, the skill tree is also under maintenance and some of the abilities you see may be changed for release. In this demo we wanted to offer players the essentials, the core abilities so they can get the feel of the game and not be overwhelmed. What the skill tree offers in this current build is one new ability known as the slam and it also empowers already existing abilities. The sword strikes are stronger, the sword throw ability does more damage, the stake does more damage and it also fires off more stake projectiles. The vine gains the power to take shields away from techno guardians. Here you can clearly see the boost in power as I killed these enemies with little to no effort, while in the arena a few minutes ago I needed to land several hits just to kill one of them. And here is another experiment enemy. It took us a while to kill him the first time, but here it takes just one well executed slam attack and he is... done. Vine ability can be used to pick up enemies or explosive barrels. You can carry them a certain distance until your energy runs out, or you can toss them aside and over an edge. If you grab an enemy and turn swiftly and click the ability button again, you will send them flying at such a speed that they will die upon impact with the terrain.
Here we have our final arena fight before the boss. The perfect opportunity to show off all the powers we've been talking about in full effect. On the boss fight for the free alpha demo we will die a few times to show off the fight properly as the boss has several abilities and attack patterns. Meaning that as you fight him you won't always get the exact same experience. And it also means that if the gods of RNG are on your side and if you are quick enough you will have an easy fight instead of a hard one.
and that concludes our gameplay and commentary of the pre-alpha demo for Warlander. We hope you enjoyed it. Again, my name is Ellie. Check out our website and blog posts for more information. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook for weekly posts and come on over to our Discord channel to talk with us directly. Have a good day and happy slicing.